there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content. Uh, so number one question here is um, related to gold, which we have touched on, but this is Nathan. Gold has been showing lower volatility and interestingly is quite the inverse correlation to the dollar currently. Yeah. It's spent several months hovering around the 1815 area. My question is, is this what gold looks like before it goes on a rip or is the data signal suggesting something else? Well, it's, it's waiting. It's waiting for this jobs report. It's waiting for more. It's waiting for more confirmation. And by the way, gold isn't where the real game's at on that inverse correlation. It's in stocks. Look at that. That this morning, eighty-two percent on S and P. Oil's ninety. It's better than gold. So um, yeah, it's just it's it's waiting in the weeds. It's signaling higher lows. The volatility's not an issue. If it is quad three, gold's going to rock and roll. If it's quad two, gold's not going to do shit for you. You know, it's been good. I mean, I, I, we made that pivot beautifully. It's quad two to quad three, go from short gold to long gold. It hasn't made me the kind of money that like all these crypto things have had. And I've said that multiple times. I've sized my, my sizing on crypto is, is the largest it's ever been. And relative to gold, it's certainly the largest. Um, so that's, that's what it's saying. I mean, sometimes positions don't do a heck of a lot, which is a good thing. Don't forget that rule number one, if you're using the Hedgeye macro process, fully loaded with the risk management process, you are a full cycle investor. Number one rule, number one rule. And I learned this from somebody. We all do. Give them credit. Warren Buffett. Don't lose money. It's not be a stock picker. It's don't lose money. So something doing nothing to having a positive bias. Don't forget that um, you know, gold last week on the dollar uh, down week, dollar was down 0.9%. Gold was up 2%. It was a great week if you size gold appropriately. Um, but now it's towards the top end of the range, and it's not losing us money. So that's a good position. You'd like to have those types of positions with low volatility um, in your portfolio. It creates you know, some stability so you're not just betting the ranch on some stock.